for this project, we're going to be designing and building a accelerometer that displays acceleration in a series of LEDs in a bar graph. Green LEDs for positive acceleration and red LEDs for negative acceleration. We're going to use an Arduino microcontroller, which consists of a small microcomputer and a a uh, very clever accelerometer sensor and a handful of LEDs and resistors. This can be built by high school students or uh, beginning college uh, engineering students. This is the Arduino microcontroller board. This is the original one from Italy. Uh, it's about $25. Or if you buy a clone version of it, which is completely legal, it's about $10. Quite affordable for any classroom project. It consists of a small microprocessor and a bunch of digital and analog inputs and is really designed for being used by beginner students uh, who have never programmed or built electronics before. Now this is what they will get. They're going to get the original board on top. They're going to get a breadboard, that's the white thing, that uh, allows them to plug in components and just sort of wire them with those jumper wires. They'll get a 9-volt battery. Uh, a handful of LEDs and resistors, and the key thing is the accelerometer chip, which you see on the right, uh, which I've right there mounted on a wooden block, and that's going to measure the acceleration. Now, I've built a permanent version into a case, and this is what it looks like, and you can see the Arduino uh, microcontroller is the blue board, and then the uh, accelerometer is in the upper left. If you buy a genuine Italian-made Arduino board for $25 and an accelerometer for $15 from jameco.com or Fry's Electronics or Radio Shack, you know, you're looking at about $40 all in, including the LEDs, and then you got to add the battery, which is probably 5 bucks. If you buy clones, which are completely legal since this is an open source project, you're probably looking at $5 for the board, $5 for the accelerometer, $5 for the battery, $5 for everything else. So you should probably do it for $20. So, let's give it a try. What we should see is green lights as I accelerate, step on the accelerator and hit maybe 30 miles an hour and then I'm going to hit the brakes and we'll see red lights. Red lights. Deceleration. Now, if I hit backwards, I should accelerate backwards, I should see red lights. And then when I hit the brakes, I should see green lights because I am going from negative 10 to negative 5 to 0. That's a change in the positive direction. So let's see that again. Accelerating backwards, red lights. Accelerating forwards, i.e. decelerating, I should see green lights. The bottom line is that the accelerometer doesn't uh, know whether we're moving forward or backward it can only tell whether the velocity is becoming more positive or more negative. 